Chesh Luja, what's up people? Hola, Vigos that here, welcome to another episode. Guys, today I bring you a review slash uh, reaction video of sorts. I'm gonna watch a movie, a full length film, therefore I cannot give you the full reaction video, it will be just too long. It's a movie that, believe it or not, I've never seen before. And, I, and I've watched plenty of Polish movies, but you know, somehow, some way, miraculously, I have not watched this film. I did start watching it some months ago and I watched like the first five or 10 minutes and it was hilarious. I was really, really laughing out loud. And by now, I asked around, yes, I asked Polish people and I also read that it's considered a f uh, classic by now of Polish cinema. We're talking about Jen Svira. For you, my non-Polish friends, this movie uh, has a translation in English called The Day of the Waco. Uh, I, I prefer James Vida. Okay, guys, I am so sorry. That is so annoying. Why do I keep saying James Svida? Svida. It's an S with an accent. It should be James Svida. Once again, part of my poor Polish, okay? Let's keep going. It's kind of like a comedy drama uh, about the day in the life of Adash Miocinski, who is a Polish language teacher and, uh, and suffers from OCD. I'm ready to go, I'm really looking forward to this. In the end of the movie, I'll come back and have some final commentary and my final thoughts on the movie, okay? So, let's watch it. The movie's actually for free on YouTube, if you can believe it, and it has English subtitles. It's on a YouTube channel called Polish Movies, but just literally search for Jens Vida uh, English subtitles or something like that, and you will get it right there, so. Look at the communistic vlogs. Man, that drill must be so annoying. <laughs> Woo! Hot! Flaming hot! Cheetos! Doritos! Oh, cool! Oh, cool! <laughs> I'm surprised that the workers didn't say Spierdale. I think he has anger issues. Hey! Mushinyanka, I love this this uh, this water in Poland. My Polish family buys it. I really like it. I'm sure some people in Poland do garbles with alcohol. <laughs> Before smartphones in the toilet. Control of one's emotions. <laughs> Oh, curva. <laughs> Most Polish people cannot stand wasting food. One of those. Politicians are always, everyone's pulling to their side and you know, towards their own ideology. And the poor people are just there in the middle. Krev. <laughs> He's vengeance, you know. Revengeful guy. Let me ask you a question. Is that is do you find that that's a Polish characteristic? Are Polish people avengeful? Like if someone is making your life difficult, are you gonna go, go get back at him? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> That's so typical Polish moms. Eat, eat. Yeah, but you see, this is not just. Uh, if you're gonna bring po potatoes to Polish, you know, mama or babcia, you better pick your potatoes correctly, okay? 
She's not gonna put up with bad potatoes. Brioszki? Brioszki? Na kolację? Ty chyba masz coś z głową. Z dupą. Z dupą to zawsze miałeś w sieklizny macicy masz bez przerwy. Kup se kołek osinowy i usiądź sieć na nim, to cię uspokoi. Świnia. Gnój. Uj. Wychodzę za mąż. Za psa. Za gówno. Suka powinna być za psa wychodzić. Puś. Nie chowaj telefonu. Po co ci telefon? Do gonienia się masz, wystarczą ci łapy. Zagra. Tu. M. Tupi. Kurwa. Orno tupi. O tym też nie słyszałeś. Tupi. Kurwa. Orno tupi. Vampir. Bulldozer. Vampir. Panzerfaust. Vampir. Czołg. Vampir. T-75. Vampir. Wciągający czołg. T-75? What is that? <laughs> How is that a... How is that an insult? Czym się różni gówno, gówna psiego od gówna ludzkiego? Tak jak mnie tak zażowali śkurwy po tornikach w piaskowniciach, pod cieniach, arkadach, zadać stolce na betoniu. Czy jest ktoś niżej ode mnie na tym Bożym świecie? Za 7 w pół piętnastej zalewam herbatę, by zgodnie z zaleceniem parzyć 7 minut. I ledwo śladowo odpływam, śladowo. This guy cannot catch a break. Oh my god. Oh my god. Co pan? Boż. Wolność jednych nie może być kosztem drugich. <laughs> They show this chocolate, oh god. He put this in my head. Now I want chocolate. Oh wow! Chuj ja body. Ja cholera. Body chuje. Listen to her. Listen to her Polish. I wonder. I wonder if this. Is, I wonder if she, is she is she a foreigner to learn Polish or is she like a uh, is she a Polish actress that maybe just has Asian background? If you know this actress, let me know. Pani doktor. Oh gosh. I czekam na psa, jak na wykonanie wyroku. On już zapadł, tam na peronie. Oh my god. I feel for this guy because I have a very similar thing. If I'm in a if I'm on a plane or if I'm in a in a in a train on a train, I'm always looking but people are coming in and I'm always thinking, I hope they're not gonna sit here next to me. <laughs> this guy is crazy. Nie wisisz się tam! Nie łajdasz się za mną! Ew! Nie ryzykuj, by twój rycerz poczuł na ustach twój łupiesz. O Boż! This is not a family friendly movie. Towarzyszu podróży. Zbudowałeś byt swój, zasklepiając jak termit wyloty ku światłu. Nikt już się nie dobudzi w tobie astronoma. Muzyka, altruisty, poety. Okay, that's the end. Okay, so that's the end of the movie. And uh, what are my thoughts? 
the first 10 minutes of the movie, the first five, 10 minutes of the movie, it gives you the impression that, that it's, a, it's a comedy. Uh, but I, I believe that this is more like a mix of a comedy and a, and, and a drama of sorts. I think that they did a fantastic job at making you, um, having you put yourself in his, in his shoes, you know? There were several moments where, where I felt also anxious, you know? When it comes to cinematography, you can see still an influence of the 90s, um, you know, some of the effects that they use. You could see that those are clearly fake or some things, you know, like the, like some things were overdone. But I think that was, that was the, the, the point of it, right? It was the point uh, because in his mind, the character is so, um, you know, so anxious, so particular. And he is like everything to him feels, feels just like the world is ending, right? That every little noise, anything is, just ticks him off. I think it's, it's precisely uh, presented in a way so that when you see it, you feel a little bit like him. I, I, I enjoyed it quite uh, a lot. Another thing that kind of like um, took me by surprise was the fact that the, at least in this movie, it had a, a, like, a, like a remnant of French cinema. There was something in there that was a little bit um, similar. It's not a family movie. Uh, I would have thought that it was like a family movie, but it, it was harsh. It has a very, very harsh language. Um, I understood uh, a lot more Polish curse words than I think I should understand. <laughs> Boom! That's all guys, that's the end of the episode. I hope you liked it. Uh, seriously, I really enjoyed the movie. If you guys have anyone, you know, if you have any friends or a, a partner that is not Polish, please, please, please have them see this movie. It's for free on YouTube and it has English subtitles. Um, I think, once again, if, if they're able to understand and, and put themselves in the, in, in the era specifically, right? Like this is early 2000s, so this is more like a style from the 90s. But you will see uh, something very interesting um, when it comes to the psychology behind this movie. Guys, thank you very much. See you next week. Adios.